If you want to become a blockchain developer, it's very important to pick the right blockchain. Ethereum and EOS are two of the most popular blockchain, but they each have their own specificities. So which one should you pick? Well, we'll see this in this video. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel, Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. So Ethereum and EOS are two blockchains that are able to run decentralized application or DApps. So that means that inside the blockchain, there will be a small program called a smart contract that will run in a decentralized way. Nobody has control on it. So let's start our comparison with the consensus algorithm. The consensus algorithm is the part of the blockchain that synchronizes the state of the network. So on Ethereum, they use proof of work, which is the consensus also used by Bitcoin. And on EOS, they use proof of stake. So proof of stake has two big advantages. The first one is that you don't need to spend a lot of energy to mine new blocks. So that's better for the environment. And second, it's much easier to scale your blockchain with proof of stake. So this leads me to the second point of comparison, which is the scalability of these two blockchains. So Ethereum is able to process 15 transactions per second, but EOS is able to process 4,000. So on that point, EOS win. However, it's important to know that Ethereum is working hard on the scalability problem and when Ethereum 2.0 will be released, then Ethereum will become much more scalable. The reason why EOS is so scalable is because unlike Ethereum, if you want to be a miner, you need to be pre-approved. So there are only 21 nodes on EOS that are miners. So that means that EOS isn't decentralized at all and it's very easy for these 21 miners to censor any transaction that they don't like. So I know that on Ethereum, there is also some centralization because there are actually only a few mining pools that contribute to the hashing power of the network. But still, EOS is still way more centralized than Ethereum. And that's a big issue because many people use decentralized application because there is the role decentralized but it's not really something that you have on EOS. So on this point, Ethereum wins. Another difference between these two blockchains is that on EOS, end users don't need to pay in order to use decentralized application. Instead, a developer of decentralized application need to pay in advance to rent some processing power on the EOS blockchain. On Ethereum, it's totally different. End users have to pay gas fees when they send a transaction. So that's really not user friendly and on this point, EOS wins. However, there are some solutions that are being developed on Ethereum to solve this problem. One of these solutions is called the Gas Station Network or GSN. So what about the developer experience? When you want to develop a spot contract on EOS, you need to use C++. C++ is a low-level language that is used in order to create, for example, uh, operating system, uh, drivers, servers, and anything that needs a high performance. So the big advantage of C++ is that you can talk directly to the hardware, so that's why it can be so fast. But the big issue is that it's very easy to introduce some security vulnerability and it's also much harder to learn. On Ethereum, the most popular programming language for smart contract is Solidity. So Solidity was created specifically for Ethereum smart contract and its syntax is very similar to JavaScript. So if you already know some JavaScript, it's going to be much easier to pick up Solidity. And actually, most web developers already know JavaScript. Also, there are many more tools and libraries that are built for Ethereum. So for the developer experience, Ethereum wins. How about the size of the community? For Ethereum, you have tons of conferences, meetups, hackathon. You also have a ton of company, a tons of developers. However, the ecosystem of EOS is much smaller and you don't really have all these company. Basically, you have Block One, which is the company that created EOS, but beside Block One, you don't really have many other company on EOS. And the number of developers is also much smaller. So on that, Ethereum wins. So which blockchain you should choose? Well, without any hesitation, Ethereum. And if I have to only pick one reason, it's because of the size of the community. The size of the community is what matters the most because the more developer you have, the more tools there will be, the more decentralized application and it's gonna be much easier to solve any problem. And even though EOS has some advantages uh, over Ethereum, like no fee for users, more scalability, 
there are some solutions that are being uh, worked on for Ethereum. So in due time, these will be ready and EOS won't have any more uh, advantage. There was a report that was released by Dapp Radar in January 2020 on the state of decentralized application on Ethereum and EOS. And so it showed that the number of daily active users for Ethereum decentralized application increased by 82% over the last year. And in the same period, the number of daily active users for EOS DAP decreased by almost 60%. So you can clearly see that there is a very strong momentum going for Ethereum. And even for gaming DAP, where EOS used to be stronger, actually we've seen a lot of growth uh, also in Ethereum. So now, no matter if you want to develop games or decentralized finance application, I would recommend Ethereum. So if you are very curious about blockchain and Ethereum and you want to learn more about the technology, I have actually a lot of other videos on this playlist. So go check them out. I'll see you there.